night. A very, very good evening to you from wherever you're listening to us. Also, good morning to those who are on the time zone that uh, it is early morning right da- right, right now. My name is Eugene Anangwe. The show you're listening to, as usual, is One on One. The hashtag on Twitter is hashtag 101RW. My guest in the program today says and believes very strongly that together with her team, they can make it in bringing out of the streets the disabled beggars. Why they have just chosen to pick out of the streets the disabled beggars, I really don't understand. And I don't know. This is why we have this show particularly here. And they will be able to give us responses or answers to these and many, many other uh, questions. Nikki, welcome to One on One. Thank you so much. How are you doing? I'm nervous, but I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> you'll be fine. You'll be fine. I, I'm surviving. Yes, yeah. you're surviving. So basically, first of all, tell us about yourself. Because, you know, for you to be part of a team that thinks this way of saying, hey, listen, we have disabled beggars in the streets of Kigali. And there are institutions that we believe need to do their job in getting them out there. But then you say, now, listen, we have a role to play and there's a role we can play. And you come yeah. together and say you want to be the people taking part in bringing them out of the yes. streets. Tell us a bit about yourself before we get into the details of this. Um, so, yeah, I'm Dominique. Mm-hmm. So I'm um, 22 years old. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that awkward? No, because uh, my friend was like, he thought uh, I was 30. Really? Yeah. Why would he think you're 30? That's so sad. Why? Because <laughs> I don't know. He thought I was 30, but that's really sad. But I'm 22, <laughs> no lies. And um, so one day, um, uh-huh. I was actually really inspired by the ice bucket challenge. Uh-huh. And I was like, if the uh, if, if people abroad yes. are coming together for a cause mm-hmm. and just you know joining hands and mm-hmm. doing something, why can't we do something together for Rwandans, by Rwandans, right? So... I just posted it on Facebook as a status and I was like, hey, let's do something different. Mm. I didn't even have the idea mm-hmm. at the beginning. And um, I posted and I was like, we're going to do a challenge and I'll let you know next week what it is. What it and is. people started commenting and they were like, yeah, we want to know what it is. What it is. And so I went home and I thought, who needs the most help, mm-hmm. according to me? Mm-hmm. Um, so I came up with the people with disabilities they really do need help, especially mm-hmm. those begging on the streets. Mm-hmm. So on Monday, I just updated another status and I was like, you know what? I decided this is going to happen. But I didn't really believe that anyone, it can happen. Yeah, mm-hmm. anyone would believe, mm-hmm. would do anything about it. But um, friends just started coming together. People just started coming together. And, you know, at the, we formed a team within like three days. And I was like, what? (laughs) I didn't even expect any of this. So Mm -hmm. um, now it's happening. We've got a lot of support. Before we go into the support and also what's already uh, uh, cooking uh, uh, behind the scenes in terms of this uh, challenge, which you're calling the Crutch Crutch Month Month Challenge. Challenge. You'll tell us a bit uh, more about that name. But then uh, this this, this thought of even bringing together your teammates, does it does it rise from somewhere 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 else? Because you've said uh, you thought about it and said, look at the ice bucket challenge. Mm-hmm. Probably it's it's an initiative that is supporting certain mm-hmm. courses, and yes. you said we can also do something about it. But picking the beggars uh, and and particularly the disabled beggars, did you also feel that someone is failing in doing what they need to do to get them off the streets? Well, because um, you should have thought maybe you'd have said street kids, you'd have said yeah. other 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 people with other needs no um what what i thought is you know i'm a very emotional person Mm -hmm. i don't know if that counts but um i've grown up with some limitation physically Mm -hmm. so i don't consider myself disabled but Mm -hmm. i just consider that if i had let it you know depress me and you know lead me into despair i would really probably be begging as Mm -hmm. well Mm -hmm. so that actually made me have a heart just for people with disabilities in general. Mm. And um, when when you walk around in Remera bus stands in, in the street, most people who are begging have kind of, you know, they lack an arm, they have had polio, and it's just, you know, and it's not really about the money, it's just about empowering them, mm. letting them do- know that um, this should not stop you. And also on top of that all, I have a friend who also have a problem with mm. his leg mm. 
I think it's polio. Mm. But he's really, really successful. He's one of, I told him before, the, the, when I started noticing that the challenge was going big, mm. I told him, you know what, just in case I mention you somewhere, you just got to know that you inspired all of this. Mm. Because I noticed how he was strong and he defeated all that. And he decided, you know what, I'm going to do something with my life. So now I believe that everybody with polio, everybody who has one leg, everybody who lacks an arm, they can do something. Mm. So we just got to give them that self-esteem. Are you thinking of running for president? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> why no? Ah. Why? Nah. Why, why? No, because you know, I just, I like thinking big, you know, and leading a small team. Mm -hmm. Maybe this is why your friend thought you were that old. 30. Th th 30. <laughs> wow. That's you think so like sad, a 30-year-old. It's sad? Thinking it's, like an, no, an, not an, thinking, but I, I just felt like, you know. You felt the physique I mean, part is what he was ladies meaning. Ladies don't like to be called, <laughs> told that they're old. Hey, old lady, you know. Now, let's talk about what needs to be done in this challenge. Because the ice bucket challenge has its own rules. Mm -hmm, where, you mm -hmm. know, you, you, you challenge someone and if they don't do or take up the challenge, they have to pay a certain amount uh, to go towards a certain cost. So how yeah. is this going to happen? Well, um, uh, what's happening and what originally what needed to be done mm, mm. <laughs> it's changed a bit not really but you know what 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 you needed to do is you take a picture with a crutch okay. or a wheelchair or any other aid that people with disabilities use and you post that picture on, on facebook hashtag crutch month challenge and you tell your friends two friends that within 48 hours or you know 72 hours whatever timeline you give them mm. they need to have the same picture Whoa. all right if they don't have that picture online then they give 1,500 to the cause. Francs, Francs or dollars? Francs. <laughs> 1,000 Francs. Francs. But uh -huh. if they do meet the challenge, they give 500. So what if in my area there are no disabled people? The thing is you got to get out of your comfort zone. That People are shy to even talk, talk to them. Mm. People are shy to, you know, you, to even get the crutch from them, you have to actually start a conversation with them. Mm. And... You know, in five little seconds, you get to walk in their shoes a bit. You know, they tell you their stories. Maybe they have dreams, you know? Like, I wanted this challenge to open up people's hearts so that they can just get to know who these people are. They're not just people on the streets. Mm. What makes me sad is when we give them five, 50, we give them a 50, a coin, we, yeah. we forget that they're humans. We just see the hand. So... Asking them for a crutch actually would require to ask them your name, what's your name, where, where do you live, and then you'd get the crutch after. Because it'd get awkward if you're just like, hey, can I have that crutch? Yeah, yeah. yeah. How about those who will feel offended and say, look at this one. I struggle to walk in yeah, this. And then they just come and want just to, to play with it and take photos in a game called mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The Crutch Month Challenge. Yeah. How are you going to deal with That's that? That's where your, your public relations skills come in. You okay. know, you just go to their level and talk to them, you know, and I, I don't even think that you should ask the picture, the, the crutch for the crutch month challenge mm, itself. Mm. You just ask them for the crutch after the, however the conversation was built, you know, you have to feel like their heart is coming towards you. you know? mm, mm. Hey, I'm having this conversation with per this person. He's probably getting to be my friend. Mm -hmm. And then, Ha, tell you know tell them hey you know can i just take a picture or even with you you were telling me that you have targets and this is around uh, 500,000 per month mm -hmm. and this money is uh, aimed at uh, bringing out five beggars mm -hmm. out of the street beggars who are disabled yes. out of the streets mm -hmm. and, and 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 this is every month yes D is this too ambitious i don't think it's too ambitious because if we, I don't think the youth of Rwanda is so small that 500 would be so, you know. Mm. It, we just need a thousand young people. Mm -hmm. That's not to even, be able to, to, to that's not even two high schools. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's like, that, you know, that's, that's so little. Mm. You know, if a hundred, if, if a thousand people can get together for this cause, we'll already, you know, we'll have reached the challenge, you know. You were telling me already you are at 10%. Yes. How? <laughs> I've not seen we any picture. 10%. How did you oh, get wow. to 10%? Oh, wow, you have to follow the, 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 the hashtag. I, I did, and I didn't find any except yeah, the why, one. Yeah, um, that's why there's another option that, that rose. Uh -huh. People just got so scared about the challenge, the, uh -huh. the, 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 the crutch things. Mm -hmm. So they started holding posters like ah, this. Okay. And they donated. 
and people also just come into the to our office and j they just drop in money and that's you know some people are not taking the challenge but donating and some people are taking the challenge and donating and some at, people are just not time. doing either mm, mm. <laughs> yeah no no how how the, the, the public trust with b looking beyond just a, a challenge that from one end uh, originates from fr 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 from a challenge which most people are seeing as an entertainment mm -hmm. uh, uh, act, like the ice bucket challenge. Mm -hmm. for, for for some who see it as ah, so and so has also poured the uh, yes. bucket full of ice uh, on on himself. How do they look at it as a serious thing beyond yes. just saying oh, this is just a game? Look, it's just a picture. Run around, look for a picture with a with a mm -hmm. crutch. How do you intend to make it look also? serious that it's a course that has a yes. serious meaning behind it yeah that's why um that's a really good question um we've been encouraging through facebook twitter personal messages mm -hmm. questions mm -hmm. you know because people first of all they doubted they were like hmm mtn mobile money how do i not know that this is not your personal money so uh -huh. that you can buy fries mm -hmm. every day mm -hmm. so we encourage we're like even if you're not ready to donate yet mm -hmm. please ask us questions mm -hmm. and please advise us you know this is where you come in thank you so much for letting us come here mm -hmm. so that we can clarify some things it's not just an entertainment thing it's more like we try to make it lively and youthful so that everybody can be involved you know, so everybody can feel like there's something they can do. But we are also encouraging, we're making calls, calling people who donate mm. to tell them, you know what, this is going to be something that's changing our city, mm. you know. Mm. And then another thing that we do is also uh, at the end of the month, we're planning on having a video of the person who will help. We, the, you one have of supported. The that, yeah. But you intend to support them. five. Now, from these five, how do you pick? How do you decide? Yes. How do you say we'll take so and so and so and so? Yes, we're working with in partnership with the National Council for People with Disabilities, which they will pick the five for us because they they work with people with disabilities. They support them in many ways. So we submitted the project to them and we were like only beggars with disabilities because they have different people on different levels. So in the streets? No, no, they have people with disabilities who are working, who mm. are confident, who mm. are okay. Mm -hmm. But we told them for this specific project, we want the people who are on the streets. Mm -hmm. So because they register them, they work with them, they'll mm -hmm. be submitting five cases or m a even more. And then we'll pick from the cases mm -hmm. that they brought. I asked you earlier on, but don't be too diplomatic because they are behind your course. They are supposed to support mm -hmm. you and help you to pick and do, do all these things. Do you feel such institutions are failing? Because maybe you'd expect them to come up with such campaigns. Mm -hmm, Maybe yes. you'd expect them to speak out with a loud voice mm -hmm. on how uh, street beggars yes. who are uh, you know, disabled to be gotten out of the streets. Mm -hmm. We have even members of parliament who yes. represent this group of mm -hmm. people. Do you feel they're failing? Uh, without being diplomatic, yeah, just without honestly being di speaking. Diplomatic. Yes. Well, honestly speaking, I would say that I don't know. They're 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 trying their best, but they're lacking something. Am I sounding diplomatic? That's too diplomatic. Wait. For me. Okay. Let me just gather my thoughts. Uh -huh. Right. I'm kind of nervous, and I'm <laughs> apparently thirty. Yes. So <laughs> You'll be better. You'll be so fine. So what I'm what I feel is I wasn't in Rwanda mm -hmm. in a while. I wasn't in Rwanda for about six years. I came one, once uh, in 2010, and that was it. Mm -hmm. But I would actually say that the, the the number of beggars that I used to see then is different from now, all right? Mm -hmm. And what I would like to say is I know they've done something, mm -hmm. but they probably, in terms of raising awareness, I would say that they don't involve the youth that much. Mm. So our youth in Rwanda, we wake up in the morning, we go to, I don't know, church, work, aunts, mm. Mm. you know, family, mm. but we don't really take action in real issues and real causes, mm. you know? Mm. I mean, some event is happening, like, I mean, I'm not dissing anyone, but, you know, You're concert. allowed, on one-on-one, on one, you're allowed <laughs> to speak <laughs> your heart out. There are concerts, yes. there are stuff, but, and the youth is there all the time, and what about real, actual issues that people face? What is the youth doing? So I would say that they're doing stuff in their own diplomatic ways in the money comes out of you know diplomatic stuff mm. but in terms of raising awareness and involving us the youth youth and the citizens i haven't seen that you don't see them at all now let's talk about yourselves 
the accountability part mm -hmm. you said earlier on you know some people see and say see your poster which says donate uh, sending the money mm -hmm. via this line and, and these numbers how do they feel safe yes. that you know you won't feel in the middle of the campaign that nobody's participating yes. you're getting nothing mm -hmm. and in your in, in in your basket of money that you had managed to collect you had collected around two hundred thousand or one hundred thousand mm -hmm. then you decide to get tired along the way and you use it to buy your own stuff. How yeah, do they get exactly. confident with you guys? Um, I think um, what I what I would like to say about accountability, because this is something that is beginning. At the end of, of the month, that's when we'll highlight where the money went. You know, we'll show this person. We 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 probably there there are beggars on the street who need sewing machine. They have hands. They don't have legs. They could do something. So at the end of the month, of this month, that's where they'll see something. Mm -hmm. But what I'd like to tell our listeners who yes. are out there, mm. it just takes a heart, you know. I didn't trust myself until I, I just got out and I was like, I can do something. So if that person has that small heart, you know, you can doubt for a second, but if you have that, that heart, you can just give and see what happens. To mm. you. you know, mm. we give to churches. We mm. give to, we buy stuff that we don't need. So you can just you know risk this and i promise that they will have results it's beginning you know we don't really have like hey we've already done mm, this mm, mm. but it's something that we are taking care of and it's something that means a lot to us mm. to tell you where the money went where what we did but it can't happen now because mm. we're still collecting all know? right now the, the those among your friends Mm -hmm. or even haters for mm -hmm. that matter yeah, who say who say ah dominique and and her team these are people who just want cheap publicity exactly. you know they just want to be seen as uh, uh the, the the bill gates and and other philanthropists exactly. out nelson there mandela's. and the nelson mandela's <laughs> mm -hmm. what do you tell them today actually you know those haters are kind of pushing us you know like there's some friends of mine that are contacted a hundred times i was like please just update a picture you know it doesn't even require much you know because we're not really focusing on the money as much as we're focusing on the raising awareness and involving the youth you know because the money we can write to mtn and they will just you know they'll review our concept we can write to big corporations mm -hmm. but we decided to address this problem to the youth mm -hmm. because they have i believe youth has power you know so to those haters, they're pushing me because I know one day five beggars are going to get off the street and I'll be like, in your face. <laughs> All over you the know? place. Like, I'll just be like, yeah. Mm, mm. You know, so to the haters, I'm, I'm, I mean, don't stay in the hater boat. You know, leave that because you might regret it someday. All right. That's a powerful one. Now, let's talk about uh, the way forward because at the end of the day, if, if eventually this doesn't work out, just the bubble gets busted uh, mm -hmm. along the way. Yeah. Uh, maybe nobody participates or the anticipation you have, the fire you have mm -hmm. just dies out. I mean, how will that make you feel? And, and, and what would, would happen next? Well, um, I, don't, I don't think I'm going to give up. Mm -hmm. You know, in terms of money, maybe it might take me. It's not going to be called crutch month mm -hmm. anymore. Mm -hmm. It might be called, I don't know, crutch year, yes. <laughs> crutch decade, mm -hmm. crutch century. But um, we won't give up. What I want more mostly is not even the money, is to make those people with disabilities feel like they're worth something. You know, someone did that for me. Mm. You know, someone told me, you know what, you can get over this and get on your feet and do something. Mm -hmm. So now, I mean, look at me. I'm not fancy in driving cars, but mm -hmm. I'm okay with my life. Mm -hmm. And they can get there, you know. So even if the money doesn't come in, I can just walk and talk to them. I'll find other ways. But we really want the youth to be involved. Okay. And we need the money. <laughs> and you need the money. And you uh, need to no donate as well. Okay, so that's a challenge. Eh? At least there's no pouring any water if I fail yeah, or anything. Actually. But still, <laughs> let's look at these kind of campaigns that we have and the reality on the ground. We have had different uh, campaigns like this one where you have people holding posters uh, to, to support a certain campaign. Mm -hmm. Recently, we had the Bring Back Our Girls, mm -hmm. which oh, has yes. slowly died out, yes. just like that. Yes. How do we creatively, now I'm talking to a young person who's yes. creative, how do we creatively use these kind of campaigns to mm -hmm. have a long-lasting and sustainable impact yes. on whatever courses we are driving? 
So um, I've been researching all this. I've researched like ALS, what they did, mm -hmm. who's behind them, mm -hmm. you know, who, what he does. Mm -hmm. So what I noticed is you have the people, are your audience are accountable, mm -hmm. actually. Mm -hmm. You know, I have to hear what they want. Mm -hmm. what, you know, if someone says, people have told us, you know what, you need to make pledge cards. If I'm not able to donate today, I can sign to blah, 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 you know. And, you know, sometimes we're like, you know, let's move from just posters to videos where we just we are actually planning tomorrow going on the street and taking a beggar out for lunch. Mm -hmm. However, if we have a lot of money, we'll take him to uh, a fancy restaurant. But then the problem is tomorrow, the after after tomorrow, he will still be back at the street. Yeah, but. How if does we, this change his life? No, no, we'll, I'm not trying to discourage you, but this is I'm the reality. Never, I, I'm, do you Th this see this is the fire? <laughs> Getting discour discouraging me is taking me to the ice bucket challenge. Actually, <laughs> Niagara Fall yeah. is not going to discourage me. Uh -huh. So um, we're just going to do different things every time, every time. We probably will move from just social media to actually movement, you okay. know, printing billboards or, you know. So we'll try to be as creative as possible but keeping in mind that the thoughts and ideas of our people who are talking to us, who are taking time to write to us, to, to tweet, mm -hmm. to send us texts, will value them. Okay. Yeah. Powerful. Now, um, because of time, I think we need to start wrapping up. But I'm told you have a line, and both of them are given an opportunity here. This is my contribution okay. for you to be able to tell the listeners those mm -hmm. lines that they need to donate to. Mm -hmm. And, and and I hope it doesn't backfire because I'll be held accountable. I give you a platform. So let's do it. You want, you want. All right, let's backfire. do it. Uh, our uh, MTN mobile money mm -hmm. is uh, 078 Okay. Yes. And uh, the Tigo one, I uh, see there's the a 0722 mm -hmm. 976 183. Is it the one? Yes. Is the right one? Are you reading? Are from you the sure poster? it is? Uh, no, it that's is mine? <laughs> yes. I, Maybe it's I, my number. People will be sending on my phone. Oh, and then you'll forward to me. Uh, <laughs> I trust you. <laughs> Thank you for because that, Dominic. I'm very violent. I can stalk you to your house. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. And of course, uh, we definitely wish you all the very best. Thank you so in, much. In uh, the Crunch Month Challenge. Yes. We're hoping that uh, people will participate. And definitely, if you don't succeed, as you say, keep your head up. Because very few people do such kind of things. All right? Mm. And of course, keep the fire burning. And we'll be right there to support you. Thank you so much for your time Thank on One you on One. Thank you so much. All Thank right. You. There you have it. Dominique and her team believing and staying uh, their ground that they will be able to make it at least to get uh, five beggars off the street every month. And of course, raise 500,000 rand and francs every month to be able to support some of the disabled beggars in the streets of Kigali to start some income generating activities. Whether they will make it or not, it's something that he, she doesn't want to think about at this particular mm. time. All she wants to do is move on with this. And we wish you all the best. My name is Eugene Anangwe. Goodbye. <laughs>